Are we on? Are we going? Are we recording? Yeah. Okay. Now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by this son of York and all the clouds that lowered upon our house in the deep bosom of the ocean buried. Now are our brows bound with victorious wreaths, our bruised arms hung up for monuments, our stern alarms changed to merry meetings, our dreadful marches to delightful measures. Grim-visaged war hath smoothed his wrinkled front, and now, instead of mounting barbed steeds to fright the souls of fearful adversaries, he capers nimbly in a lady's chamber to the lascivious pleasing of a lute. But I, that, that am not made for sportive tricks, nor shaped to court an amorous looking glass eye that am rudely stamped and want love's majesty to strut before a wanton ambling nymph. I that am curtailed of this fair proportion, cheated of feature by dissembling nature, deformed, unfinished, Sent before my time into this breathing world, scarce half made up. And that, so lamely and unfashionable that dogs bark at me as I halt by them. Why I, in this weak, piping time of peace, have no delight to pass away the time, that all I must to see my shadow in the sun and discant upon my own deformity. And therefore, since I cannot prove a lover to entertain these fair, well-spoken days, I am determined to prove a villain and hate the idle pleasures of these days. Thoughts have I laid, inductions dangerous of drunken prophecies, slanders and dreams, to set my brothers Clarence and the king in deadly hate, the one against the other. And if King Edward be as true and just as I am subtle, This day, should Clarence closely be kneed up about a prophecy which says that G of Edward's heirs the murderer should be. Dive thoughts down to my soul. Let Clarence come.